Hey everyone, it's Sammy. So this is going to be my April favorites, and I actually have quite a few products to go through um, this time, so I'm just gonna get started. And in the end, I'll also show you, because like I, I always am looking for nice ways to store makeup and store makeup brushes and stuff like that. And I found a beautiful picture on Pinterest and I've kind of like transferred my daily use brushes um, onto the way, onto the picture that I saw. So I'll show you that um, late because it's so cute in my opinion. Anyways, I'm gonna start with skincare. And because it's spring, I am back on hardcore um, sunscreen. So I have been using and loving, I used this last summer as well, La Roche-Posay 50 plus and uh, Antelius XL and it is anti-shine. So this is brilliant under makeup. It sinks in in a second and it really doesn't affect how my makeup wears or how it looks. So I love it. Um, another skincare thing is uh, also from La Roche-Posay and it's called Zero Sync and this is zinc sulfate solution which is cleansing and soothing. So I'm out of my SK2 and I was looking for a much cheaper alternative and my friend Kendra, who also recently started making videos here on YouTube, I'll put a link to her channel below. She's lovely. She is in Biarritz in France right now. She used to live in Paris. Um, she's also a makeup artist. She assisted me, I think once or twice. And um, yeah, she has a lovely channel and she's quite new here. So I'll go and check her out. Anyway, she talks about this and um, the zinc sulfate in it is kind of antibacterial. So it really, um, you know, will be great for you if you suffer from any kind of acne or breakouts. When the weather changes and when I have to start using um, sunscreen, I do get some breakouts. So this has been great for me. Um, also, another thing for skin is, I've been wanting to get this for a while. This is the Josie Moran 100% uh, Pure Argan Oil in Light. And I did a swap with uh, Julie from Julie's Beauty Dish. I'll put a link to her channel as well below. Uh, she, is from Chicago and we did a swap recently. She's got a lovely channel. She's really, really kind of like, she's always happy. <laughs> I, I do like people that are always happy. Um, and we did a little swap. I sent her some French goodies. She sent me some stuff I can't get here. And this was one of the things I really wanted to try. And it's like the actual um, Argan oil, but it's just a lighter version of it. And I can't, because I've got combination skin, I can't really use the traditional argan oil, it's just too heavy for my skin. It doesn't sink in the way I'd like to. And I often feel like even in the morning, if I put it on at night, it's still a little bit oily in my T-zone. So I have been loving this because I do wanna, I basically, what I do is I put a couple of drops on my face and then any kind of anything that's left, I just run through my hair because it's perfect for hair as well. So it's like multi-purpose oil. So I love that. And the last, well, this isn't really, well, there's actually two kind of skincare. It's not really skincare, but it's kind of skincare. Hand cream. Uh, this is Ducre's, oh, how do you say that? Ictian uh, for dry chapped hands. And I think it's Ictian. Anyways, it's a French product. These are really cheap over here. So moisturizing on your hands. So amazing. I got this one in a little goodie bag that my friend uh, Betty had put together. We did a girls weekend in Cannes. Uh, I put a couple of pictures on Instagram um, if you haven't seen it. So, uh, well, it was probably two, three weeks ago now. And uh, she made like little sweet goodie bags for all of us when we came because there was like four girls. And this was one of them. And I'd never tried the brand. Uh, I always had like whatever other hand creams and this is amazing for dry hands like it really really moisturizes them there's no scent there's no kind of luxury to it but it's a genius product it's really inexpensive and it's fabulous so thank you so much for that Benny and the last kind of skincare related, well, this is lip care, is uh, the Lip Scrub by Sarah Hap. I bought this at the Makeup Emporium in London and this flavor is creme brulee. Of course, I have to get creme brulee. Oh my God, I do just eat this whole jar with a spoon. And it, I mean, it's a fantastic um, lip scrub, of course, but <laughs> like the, just the scent of it is just, insane it leaves your lips super moisturized it doesn't strip them too much and i love it i really want to try her lip balms as well then kind of moving on to eye makeup via an eye primer so um 
my favorite eye primer has been Nars's Pro Prime. I bought this maybe two months ago. I had never used this uh, and I used it for a bit then, but then I have so many eye primers that I wanted to use up. So I really didn't get into this properly. Now that I have, oh my God, I love it. I don't know what I had been waiting for. Why wasn't I using this all the time? So love that. Then this was mentioned previously in my uh, March faves. It is the Marc Jacobs palette. And I said, I can't like officially put it on the March favorites yet, even though I had bought it in March because I hadn't used it. And it's the Lolita palette. Um, I can say that now I've used it and I absolutely love it. It's neutrals. There is three mattes and four shimmers. And I am especially in love with, I'm going to swatch that for you with this shade. So it's a creamy shade, but it is ever so slightly shimmery and it kind of reflects pinky lilac. It's, uh, I have it in my inner corners today. All my eye makeup I did with this palette today, but my eye makeup is like next to nothing um, today. I wonder if you can see it better, like the shimmer on that. These colors are so creamy, so amazing. Uh, I'm really, I'm really happy I bought it. So yeah, uh, it's quite fragile though, so don't travel with it. Um, I am going to, well, when this video comes out, I'm going to be in Finland and I really want to take the palette with me, but I can't, like, I'm too afraid that I'm going to break it uh, in air travel. So uh, more eye makeup. A couple of things uh, I have been loving. This is the uh, Bourjois Contour Clubbing Waterproof Eye Pencils, and these are new. And what is my shade? Uh, 57, up and brown. And it is a cool kind of taupey brown. It does, it has a tiny, not really shimmer, but tiniest bit of um, reflection on it. Really stays on well, like you put it on, does not budge and it's a very soft formulation. So I like it. I'm gonna try other colors from this line as well. And then, oh, mascara love. Um, Clinique Lash Power, that has been my favorite mascara for so long, have come up with Clinique Lash Power feathering mascara and it really does feather. I don't know if the formulation is the same and it's just the brush that's different. So this one is quite plump and short. The original one is um, short as well, but it's very, very delicate. This one, the brush is just like quite feathery. I love, I the formulation of this mascara is totally smudge proof, weather proof, everything proof. I love it, but it's not waterproof, it's temperature proof. It's my, the original one was my, is my all time holy grail mascara. And I think this is gonna be uh, one of them as well. And then last but not least, it is uh, the HD Brows High Definition Pencil. What is this called? Just High Definition Pencil. And what you do is you sharpen it to a really fine point one way, and then it's wider the other way. And I had, uh, my eyebrows done as um, I tried HD brows for the first time. I'm in love. <laughs> I had them done at eyebrows in London. I'll put a link to them below. And I, it's a combination of waxing, plucking, threading, tinting, all sorts of things. <laughs> it takes about 45 minutes and I'm really happy with the shape they put in. I'm gonna have to go back a couple of times just to bring them 100% equal, but it is pretty much the best shape that I have um, ever gotten for my eyebrows. So I am really, really happy with that. And I'm really happy with their pencil. And this is like so long and thick, this is gonna last me forever. Then uh, moving on to, oh, no, not moving on, not moving on from eyes. Uh, Ila Musca, this is a gel liner uh, in infinity. So it's a, just a black, gel liner, but I had never tried Ila Musca's um, black gel liners. I do think Ila Musca packaging is just so nice. I like the slight gothic touch, but it's just beautiful. And I, um, this one, like obviously Bobbi Brown and MAC stays on amazingly well. It is uh, more of MAC fluid line consistency than the Bobbi Brown, which is more waxier. But this one um, is, I, got, I gotta check this actually right now if you get more product because it feels like you get more product. Yep, this one is five grams, MAC Fluid Line is three grams, so you get more product for your money because it is bigger. So <laughs> bigger is, in certain things, it is better. 
Then on to a couple of concealers, uh, I've got two. This one was also in the package that Julie sent me and it's the NYX uh, HD concealer and I've had this in a couple of colors before but I haven't had it in the yellow. The yellow is called, hmm, where can I find the name? I can't, it's yellow anyways. <laughs> I'll swatch it for you. And this is like, it really is yellow. I'm gonna put the other concealer next to it so you can actually see by comparison how yellow it is. I can actually use this by itself under the eyes. Some people would need to use it with a correct, um, so use this as a corrector um, instead of just putting this on. For me and my skin tone, it brightens fantastically, so I absolutely love it. And like the other NYX HD um, under eye concealers, it really stays put. And the second one is, this one is the one I'm actually wearing today, is Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Eye Cream. Now this isn't an eye cream, I don't know, sometimes French people name things in funny ways. It is an under eye concealer. And my color is 22 Beige Claire. And it has that same kind of applicator as one of the um, Makeup Forever under eye concealers has. Not one of my favorite applicators, but the formulation is great. Now you can, kind of see how much more yellow. So this one is the NYX and this one is, and this one is a very traditional color under eye concealer with a tiny, a tiny bit of um, pink in it. But loving that. Um, well, I, <laughs> this is funny because it, ha it was a very big purchase. The La Mer powder and mine is in 01 cream. Now this, is an amazing powder. It's a great powder. It doesn't beat my all-time favorite, which is a Chico, but it is a fantastic powder. I am wearing it today. And even though it's an expensive powder, you actually get loads for your money because you get 25 grams, which is way more than you get in lots of other kind of loose powder things. And it is huge and heavy. So the reason why this is in my this month's favorites, even though it's extraordinarily expensive and it's probably not my all-time, all-time favorite powder, it is, it makes me happy using it. I'm just happy using this very heavy, lovely um, jar of powder and it makes me happy when it's on my vanity. So yeah, certain things that make you happy can just like, because that's what makeup is meant to, you know, do. It's meant to make you happy. So. Even if I have a cheaper powder that probably does the job better, it doesn't necessarily make me as happy, if that makes any sense. Comment below if you have similar products that are just plain make you happy using them. But it is heavy, it's lovely. Um, another thing from my swap package, this is something I requested, was the Becca, what is the official name? Shimmering Skin Perfector Impressed. I already have this as a liquid and it's the same color, it's Moonstone. I am wearing it today. I love the shimmer it gives you. There is no glitter, it stays on all day. And this is a very kind of, it's a warm color. I wonder how much you'll be able to see. Well, it looks really, really light here. Let me just blend it out for you a little bit. So it is just a, it's a beautiful, um, highlighter. I use it top of my cheekbones, I use it in the middle of my nose here and uh, Cupid's bow and I am in love with this. And two blushes. Uh, I feel like I might have mentioned this one before but I've been using it so much that um, I have to mention it again. And this is the Cream Blush 02 uh, from Bourjois. Does the color have a name or is it just 02? I think it's just 02. It's a peachy, gorgeous color. And I just, I personally, I, I love the texture of these because it's not strictly speaking cream to powder. This more feels almost like a, I don't know, a dry lip balm or something like that. But it blends incredibly well. I'm not wearing it today, I'm wearing my other blush love. Uh, but yeah, this is lovely. And it's so tiny, this is great to travel with. My other blush love is by Milani. Ooh, and I'm, I am wearing it today. And this is their, <gasps> the brush just dropped from underneath. It is number 10 Delicioso Pink and it is one of their new matte colors. And it's a very cold pink. You could compare it to, it's probably even slightly colder than um, Bobbi Brown's Pale Pink, which is my Holy Grail, um, Holy Grail blusher. And 
the color is gorgeous. I use it quite lightly on myself, but because it does have such color payoff, um, I would say the color is quite light, so I wouldn't use it on anybody with super dark skin, but up to kind of medium, very tan uh, olive skins, I think this would look absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful color. Love it. And then just a couple of lip things and a uh, nail polish. Um, three lip products. The first one is by Lise Wattier and the color is, um, it's the Plumpissimo lipstick and the color is Nutri and it is a gorgeous, um, gorgeous nude lipstick. It's, it's ever so slightly mauve but not enough to give you that kind of like dead lips thing. It's beautiful like a almost like a true nude. I got this from uh, Vicky. I'll link her channel below. She's absolutely gorgeous. She is from Halifax in Canada and she sent me some Ascenta Skin tablets to try and I, I'll make a different video of them right now. I'm kind of in my month course and I'll let you know how my skin reacts to that. But in there was this lipstick. Um, thank you so much. That was a lovely surprise. Thank you. Um, and also the Gilded Rose uh, Maybelline Color Show Nail Polish. Oh, I can't, I can't put it on top of these right now. This is, I think this is Essie's Banana something. I just had them done in a salon, so I don't have this color myself. I have been wearing this. I've been putting this on top of everything because it is spring. I'm feeling kind of pink and sparkly. So it's a gold, it's like golden and pink. Um, shimmer so it kind of and the there's like little tiny tiny um sparkly bits and then there's much bigger ones so it kind of gives a really interesting effect so i love that so thank you so much um vicky for these little surprises and uh two other lipsticks i am wearing well this is not a lipstick this is a butter gloss by nyx butter me up in divine gloss <laughs> butter me up okay um and the color is eclair and I am wearing it today. It's a very cool tone pink. I'm running out of space. It's right here. And I really like the NYX um, Butter Gloss formulations. They're gorgeous. Stay on for gloss. They stay on really well and give great color payoff. So I'm in love with this. And this one came in the swap package from Julie. So thank you so much. A couple of the things that um, we did in the swap I had asked for, and then she just put some drugstore surprises in there for me, because I do like an American drugstore surprise. And um, my last lipstick is Milani's number 12, Flamingo Rose. Oh my God, this lipstick is almost neon. It is absolutely gorgeous, stays on so well, and it stains your lips as well, so that when it starts to wear off, it doesn't look funny, because I hate a red lipstick. Well, this is, actually like it's like a fuchsia pink anything bright that when it wears off you know you get it's only left in the edges and the middle of your lips is completely new so this one stains your lips so well that it um it doesn't matter when it starts wearing off if that makes any sense and last but not least is actually a brush and this is by the lipstick queen it is kind of like brushed metal one of those the normal kind of lipstick brush that you pull out but I had never had uh, any Lipstick Queen brushes. I have their lipsticks. I'm in love with this. This is not my, you know, I tend to favor a square um, lip brush, but this, what I really like about it is that it's actually quite long. Um, I don't have any here to show you right now. The bristles are quite long, so you get a lot of control when you're doing your lipstick, so love that. Oh, one more thing I completely forgot when it comes to tools. Uh, Space and K eyelash curlers. I have tried tons of eyelash curlers. I never stray away from Shuamore, apart from trying other ones. I have never found one to beat them or match them until I bought myself a pair of Space and K ones. I, for me, these match the Shuamore. Uh, they're just as good, just as amazing. The I'm really surprised that I found anything that could be as good as the Shuamore one. So uh, yeah, I'm really happily surprised. But I think that's it. Um, I'm worried that this video is gonna be really long because I felt like there was lots of products. So yes, then my new favorite way of storing brushes is in used diptyque uh, jars. So these obviously always come with a candle. And I've been saving them like diptyque jars because I think they're beautiful. And I saw a picture on Pinterest um, 
of just makeup brushes in these jars and I absolutely love the idea. I think it's just so cute and chic and amazing. Um, so um, I'll just uh, I'll just take the camera down and show you kind of like what it looks like when they're on the vanity. I just love them. So uh, I'm just kind of starting to talk faster and faster as if that's gonna help by the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're enjoying, what products you're enjoying this spring and uh, I will see you again next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.